All right. On the play here, black, green, elves in standard, and hmm. We have all of our payoff cards and none of our little guys to enable it. But Our deck is full of little guys, so hopefully we draw some. Don't love this card, but it's a necessary evil. What are we up against? The Artifact deck, the Mill deck, the Let's Draw All Lands deck. That's us. We only have 21 lands. Yep, it's the Mill deck. Alright, so, before sideboards, I have no idea how this matchup is. Guessing, probably not great. Post-board, I think it gets better, because we have a lot of Reclamation Sages to kill um, Sphinx's Tutelage. That said, we might be able to just play big things and get there. Our hand's not very susceptible to... And we do have a cord to hit something. And actually, we can cord into... Our one main deck, Rex Age, to take care of the first Sphinx's Tutelage. Our opponent has Roast. Okay. There's only a couple of those in the deck. Oh, we just keep drawing lands. I guess we're going to play Sabretooth, despite my... That is probably wrong. I don't want to do nothing for the turn, and I want to save the cord to hit. Oh, El Hammerat's Archive. Well, now I guess we might have to... Oh, this is hard. Alright, we're just going to attack here and pass. If our opponent taps out for something... We can cord and kill the archive. Like basically, what we're trying to set up is our saber tooth. What we're trying to set up is our saber tooth repeatedly being able to bounce our one main deck reclamation sage. Like I said, this gets way easier post board because we have multiple rex sages. It's a Jace, okay. And a tap land. So if our opponent passes, now I think we can cord. Should be in the clear to cord for our one Rex Sage. Rex Sage, the archive. Now we're in business. Uh, one, two, three. Wow. Well, we can actually play Guilt Leaf Winnower to kill this Jace. And we still have mana to pick up our Rex Age and make our Sabertooth indestructible. We don't especially care about the Winnower. There's Anger, which is fine. Because we get to activate our Teamer Sabertooth. Pick up Rex Age, make Sabertooth indestructible. Uh, play Gnarl Root Trapper, land. Get in there with our saber tooth. Do we want to play Rex Sage? Guess we might as well. We can pick it back up with our our key card, our combo piece, saber tooth, the answer to every problem. There's the tutelage. Well, you better mill me the whole way. Actually, they probably can mill quite a bit. But 45 is a lot with one tutelage, three mana, and no El Hemorrhage archive. Seems unlikely, even with this treasure cruise. And we do have a few cards that aren't hits. Lands. Land Messenger. Oh, that wasn't too threatening. That went as good as it possibly could go. We only actually lost uh, two cards there. There's a Jace. Yep, well, that's the game. 
because uh, we can ultimate price. And then we attack for lethal. Sweet. Well, and I think this gets even better post ward. We could bring him back to nature, but I don't even know if we need to. We can just bring in four Rex Age, four copies of Duress. Take out Guilt Leaf Winnower. Take out Ultimate Price. I don't think we really care about Jace. Uh, and we need two more cuts. Probably get rid of one Sylvan Messenger and maybe a Gnarl Root Trapper. Yeah, I think we'll run it like this. Yeah, this uh, the the prevalence of the mill deck. is one of the reasons I wanted to play this deck, honestly. I figured it would be very good because of the Rex Ages. So far, that appears to be true. Well, now I guess we're just going to lead on to rest while your opponent's tapped out. <laughs> oh, there are four... Four non... Non spell cards, non land, non spell cards, and our opponent has both chases. Alright, well, at least we know that it's not the most threatening hand, other than Jace. Well, we'll just go land Elvish Mystic, or Elvish Visionary, draw a card. Man, we have. That's the problem with having a legendary lord like Dwyan. Having three copies in your hand is not good. Opponent goes looting. Discards a mountain. Passes back to us. Uh, so we can play... Well, I guess we just attack for one. Uh, play... Dwyan's Elite and Jungle Hollow. And then we're just going to play Dwyan's. Hopefully we don't get angered here. Alright, so our opponent's going to get to flip Jace. But there's nothing too threatening to flash back. And we might just be able to kill Jace. One, two, three, four. Yeah. If our opponent flips Jace, we just get to kill him. So our opponent's wisely going to wait, and we are just going to play a Lord and swing with everyone. Sand is still not not weak to an anger. Yeah, but our opponent's going to block Flip Jace in response, pitching another land. Good news is we have a Rex Sage, and we can potentially just run our opponent out of Sphinx's tutelages unless they, and we can even get them at instant speed thanks to our Chords of Falling. Opponent really needs an Anger here. Whelming Wave, not bad. I guess we just go Elvish Mystic. Elvish Mystic, Dwyan's Elite. The next turn we can hopefully go Lord, kill Jace. Assuming our opponent, I, you would think if our opponent had an Anger, they probably would have cast it there. But maybe not, that would have left the Dwyan behind, so maybe Whelming Wave into Anger is better. I don't think Whelming Wave is great against us though, it is... It is purely a fog. We can rebuild fast enough that it is purely a fog. Alhamrat Archive. Well, that might change our plans. We might just have to wreck sage that.
Yeah, I think we just gotta cast Rex Age, get rid of the Archive. Because that would definitely draw our opponent into an anger or something. And then we'll send everything at Jace. And now next turn, if our opponent doesn't have a Whelming Wave or an Anger, we should finally be able to kill Jace. And our opponent drew the Anger. Well, that's good timing. Follows it up with, what, another Jace. Well, the good news is he can't really use that Jace, or else... It just dies. Well, I guess we play a Lord here, since we are fine with a Lord dying. And we'd like to save the Sabertooth for when we can protect it. Because we can bounce our Visionaries or a Rex Sage if we can find one. Opponent trims down our Dwyan. Dwinian. Still not saying that right, am I? Um, I guess we're going to play Sylvan Messenger, see if we can hit a 1-drop. One 1-drop one and 3 lands. It's acceptable. Oh, got to tap black, not, not green. And we're still going to, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, we can attack and gain a life, but I don't think it matters. Our opponent isn't going to kill us with damage. They literally cannot kill us with damage. So there's not much of a reason to do that. So our opponent might want to flash something back with Jace, like the Anger, and then flip the other Jace. Oh, this time our opponent just has a ton of removal spells in hand. What our opponent doesn't realize, though, is that we have multiple lords. So land here would be nice. Well, guess we can just go trapper into lord. Still can't really attack. We might be getting our opponent close to the point where they're going to have to start flashing things back with Jace. Nope. Another Whelming Wave. Well, maybe your opponent's just on the ultimate Jace plan. Not drawing lands is hurting us quite a bit. Pumps it up again. So we're going to have another removal spell. Tutelage, okay. Treasure Cruise, get some triggers. Well, we have a ton of lands left in our deck, so it's going to be a little hard for them to mill us out. Visionary, Forest, a million cards. Land, land. Well, that was unfortunate. There was a whole string of cards there. We gotta attack Jace. The problem is our opponent is going to be able to ultimate the Jace. Which means they might be able to mill us out. Uh, might be able to mill us out even without having a tutelage in play. Which is where we have them at, but. I think what uh, we got to hope for is the Shaman of the Pack kill. And there is a Shaman of the Pack, which helps. Question will be, do we survive this next turn? Our opponent can ultimate Jace. If they can cast four spells, they can mill us out right here.
There's one. And they found an anger. Well, that is going to do it. All right. Our opponent ran extremely. Well, ultimating Jace. It wasn't that they ran well. It's that we couldn't deal with Jace. I don't know if we want to even try to deal with that, though. Like, we can kill the Jace in the early game, but I think we just need to beat the Jace down. And around the play, which helps. This hand is perfectly fine. One thing that could be bad for us here would be a turn 3 anger. Otherwise, this hand is very good. Uh, no Root Trapper. Dwayne's Elite. So we're actually pretty close to being able to cord for a Sabertooth. Tormenting Voice. Alright, I think we're just going to pass the turn here. If our opponent has an Anger, then we will cord for our Lord. If our opponent doesn't, then we will cord for a Sabertooth to protect ourselves. That's just Jace. Alright, sweet. So how do we do this now? Definitely attack with both of these. Actually, I think we want to tap all creatures uh, to play this Shaman. Puts our opponent down to 10. And we have some amount of protection from anger. I mean, uh, save the saber tooth and bounce the shaman or something. Got another cord, which equals a rex sage or another shaman of the pack to finish the game. All right, our opponent's going to bounce everything. Well, we will go trapper. into Elite. There's an Anger. It does slow us down. And a Jace that can flip. Let's go Elvish Visionary, see if we draw an untapped land. We do. So we can follow that up by a second Elvish Visionary. So our opponent's down in Anger and a Whelming Wave. Magmatic Insight. Pitching a Temple. A Foil Temple. Flips the Jace. So our opponent can flash back the Anger Whelming Wave, but that really uses up the Jace too. Alright, just goes after our visionary. Ooh, alright, so now we can lead on duress. Get rid of, hmm. What do we get rid of here? I guess treasure cruise? Then we'll get in there, attack the Jace. Shaman of the pack, our opponent down to four, play another land, and pass the turn. Here comes the anger that we knew about. Yep. 
gains a couple life with the Radiant Fountain. Did they draw the tutelage? They did, we're one land short from courting for a Rex Age. I'm gonna play Sylvan Messenger here. Get a couple more elves. Play a Mystic and pass the turn. We're pretty close to having our opponent just dead. Yep, there's a tutelage. They did have one, they were just waiting to play it. Tormenting Voice gets a couple mills. But if we can just kill our opponent next turn, it's not going to matter. Our opponent's going to have treasure crews from the graveyard. So I guess our opponent's just hoping to kill us? Otherwise they need to draw a removal spell, or we kill them. Some more milling, nothing too threatening. And I think we, oh, got it. So we can Dwine the Elite. Dwine the Elite. Gnarl Root Trapper. Court of Calling. Shaman of the Pack. And good game. Yeah! Combo elves, getting there. <laughs> oh yes, yes, yes. All right, that's all for now.